I think you will agree when I say to you that in the ring right now is Lou Nixon in the greatest shape we have ever seen him in. Lou Nixon has been away from North Wrestling. He got himself lean, he got himself mean. He got into the MMA world once more. He's won titles in the MMA oh. world and he has fought his way back to North Wrestling. He's lost all the weight. He's about to drop some more pounds. He punches Shreddy in the face. And we are off to the races. This tag team contest, no DQ. Involves submission, Liam Slater. One revenge on Rory Coyle, finally switching over. Doing whatever he, whatever he wanted to do. Original sick boy. Going back to that original form he once took. Just to get the title. Teaming up with Shreddy. I mean, could there be anything worse, Tom? I, 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 I struggle to think of anything worse than having to hang out with Shreddy. Lou Nixon did it for a while. He'd know all about it. And Matt, you and I were ringside the night that Shreddy smashed that light tube over Lou Nixon's head. We, we hadn't seen him here since. Oh, my God. What the fuck? A, a Frankensteiner from Shreddy, like I said. Spending the last few months trying to get his reputation up and to show that he is a proper wrestler. Frankenstein. Uh, no one cares, but hey, well done for trying, mate. And whoa, just deadlifting Liam Slater. Whatever he had in the mind there is not going his way. Oh. Shreddy going, you will go where I tell you to fucking go. Oh, look at this. Oh, math, North oh. historians buzzing to see England's hardest men finally letting off some steam. Years in the making. This has been a foot put in the corner. Elbows there. Trey can do nothing but duck and weave uh, and unfold his knees. Oh. Shreddy stabbed Lou Nixon straight through the heart and smashed the light tube over his head when England's hardest men came to an end a few years ago. You've got to remember that Lou Nixon has had those stitches sewn in since then. Oh, but he's going to get some more stitches now, courtesy of Rory Coyle attacking from behind. And the, it's crazy now, North Wrestling. We've been going for a few years, admittedly, but there are people who are at the first show who've been at every single show since then. They know who Lou Nixon is. Mate, you Despite and I, to be three we, years. we were there singing Casey and the Sunshine Band to Lou Nixon and Shreddy. How the world has changed since then. Lou Nixon looks like he walked out of the Riverside and just kept fighting until he got here tonight. He's going to need to do that now with Rory. Ah... Oh. Wrapping him here with nowhere to go. Evil intent. Nothing in his head. Evil flowing through the veins of Rory Coyle. Oh. Bit of transubstantiation there for Rory Coyle. You sick fuck. You sick fuck. That's exactly right. She put that on a t-shirt. You know, first pinfall attempt of the match. Nah, not good yet. I don't know how many pinfall Rory. attempts we will see in this match. I feel like there's a lot of bad blood to get uh, to get resolved before that. Yeah, exactly. I think the uh, Spiscate Wrestling of the evening is uh, gone already. So if you don't know that, now's a good time to beat the traffic. The Singapore Canes getting loose in the match. Talking of getting beaten. Oh, there's three of them. And oh, Liam's found one as well. battle of the of the Singapore canes some people call him a Singapore cane some people call him a kendo stick it really doesn't matter it's deadly whatever you call it I don't know how you get there you're gonna leave with welts either way oh and there's only so much protein you can digest only so many weights you can put up doesn't matter that's still gonna hurt you no matter what Stick swinging all around Anarchy Brewery. Oh, you got oh, to believe the head. that feels good for Lou Nixon. One man pinata shreddy break. Oh, you can see the, the marks on his back. Starting already. Rory, though, still wanting it. Oh, never mind. And Liam with the. Oh, the crocodile clips. Favorite weapon of Rory Coyle. He used that against Eddie Kingston. 
And you know what? He's used them against Liam Slater as well. That's right. Slater has been on the wrong side of those two. The pent up frustration here. Liam Slater on Shreddy. And now Lou, who's got a few of his own for his former partner. Oh, how great is it to see Lou Nixon back here? Of all the names you could have reeled off to me tonight, Lou Nixon was nowhere in that list. And now he's just taking it to Rory Coyle with those jumper cables. Had a hell of a night so far. I thought this meant, God, that back. Everything ugly than his back are his opinions. Now Liam smashed one. So it's just a, a toothpick now, but that other one is turning almost to a cat of nine tails. All those I think Shreddy's regretting this. Going into the back of Shreddy. Exactly, I think Shreddy was quick to team up with Rory for this no DQ match. I think I'm definitely getting buyer's remorse now. And now Rory, even in the odds with a no rope, a barbed wire bat. Now buyer's remorse from that. Oh, it's been leaving a mark. Sick boy. Again, a mixed response to say the least. You'd think we get lots of booze, but there is just something about Rory. There is a weird, there is a weird morbid fascination with someone like a Rory Cole, who, despite the fact that he's turned his back on the North Faithful, despite the fact that he's he's brought rack and ruin to North since the return, there is still that groundswell of support for him. Cult like. I think seems far too appropriate. Except, uh, it sounds like cult. And, oh, the big pink chair there. Oh, to the skull of Lou Nixon. On the very unforgiving beer-soaked floor of Anarchy Brewery. Years of pent-up frustration. Shreddy, who used to be one of the, the brightest, most optimistic guys you could meet at a North Wrestling show. He used to always have a laugh with Shreddy. Someone turned his sense of humor off and turned his power up sky high. And here we are. This is the Shreddy that we've got now. The Jack Stack Daddy of North Wrestling. Looking to jack up and stack up New Nixon tonight. Yeah, all that's happening. Rory getting the table. He's not putting a spread on. Anyway, Lou covering off that vicious chair shot. Just heck to call these matches, isn't it, Tom? These matches, they are they are a nightmare to stay on top of because it is just action all around the ring. Thankfully for us, though, Rory and Shreddy staying in the same place. Not so thankfully for Liam Slater. He's about to get suplexed through a table. Again, he's a metro right away from landing on that table. And Shreddy looking like Mel Gibson's Jesus. I don't like the guy, but, oh, God. Even I'm, even I'm feeling a bit bad for him now. And now, Liam. I'm thinking about putting Rory to that table, but no, cut off there. Probably for the best for everybody involved. Rory Coyle, the, the worst thing that you want to do is give Rory Coyle any props for a horror movie. Bad thoughts, that nightmare and a damaged brain of his. And now, Shreddy is one of those... Vicious, unforgiving sticks, and of course, he's flexing and talking about himself in the process. That's the Shreddy difference. Here he is, putting that camel clutch on Liam Slater. Shreddy, who has just hooked onto Rory oh. Coyle like a limpet. And now he's hooking back on Liam Slater. He's reclining with the stick. There we go, at least Shreddy's trying to use it to win, but nope, Lou, cutting him off. Big Lou back on the scene in every sense here at our main event at North Wrestling. Oh, these strikes, Lee, Lou Nixon's worked on his MMA game. You'll see those knees and those strikes that are weapons unto themselves. Exactly, Roy's watched a lot of horror films, not seen many of MMA ones. I don't think we'll ever see M. Night Shyamalan director Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. Yeah, never surrender, there we go. The Legion. Street Fighter, Cyborg, Cyborg 2, Under Siege, Under Siege 2. Oh, ducks that one though. Oh, gets him in the face. Oh. That could be it. 
Only two for now, but there's many other sequels to be used. Precision Nixon. strikes by Lou Nixon in our main event. So he's got unlimited ammo on those knee strikes of his. And out. Oh, Shreddy doesn't need the MMA training. Just one fucked up chair. The Greco-Roman chair shot to the leg. And he's trying to, he's attacking him like he's on fire. He's trying to put him out with a chair. Shreddy looking to exorcise a demon from his back. Oh! Lights out Liam Slater in the process. Jeez! Rattled the brains of Lazarus. And Liam's had his brains scrambled before. That's all Roy's got a title around his waist. Or rather, in his arms, he's swinging it with a plump. So, I don't know if the referee wants to try looking at Liam and checking him. Because that might be the end of it there with just that one shot. But no, apparently not, no. A bit worse to the wear. But they've got other things in their mind now. Like that table at ringside. A horror story to finish off the match. Slater getting back into this somehow. Hanging on in there. Of course, the, the one-man PT. Here we get a little thing like a uh, head of you step. Oh, no. Oh. Shreddy just turning that. A nice version of an elevated diamond cutter. I'm sure he used it as an ace crusher because it was all things 80s and that. But now he's looking at a, a bum bag. Oh no, that's a different, no, looking for that. this is a different kind of PT, I do believe. Yep, pesky thumbtacks. The pins are out here at North. And that look of glee on the face of Shreddy. Shreddy doesn't do hardcore matches very often, but when he does, he likes to get the thumbtacks out. Liam Slater Don't know why. maybe about to become a Bradford-born pincushion. Now just on the top rope, as if it's not going to hurt enough to be on the thumbtacks. He's insistent on doing it off the top rope. Both men looking down at a, a rather disgusting fate in the form of that pile of thumbtacks in the centre of the North, the North Wrestling Ring! <laughs> Oh. And like I said, the hours in the gym, the dedication to his diet, the tannin, the banging. None of that can help Shreddy now Bice with a basketball of thumbtacks. Biceps popping, quite literally. And meanwhile, Rory Coyle armed to the teeth with that barbed wire bat. And Rory, who doesn't even know what the inside of a gym looked like, and that's what's in a foul destination scene. He's there with a barbed wire bat. Take down the PT, Liam Slater. Ah. Oh. And as always, he's got bad ideas in mind. What? Oh, Liam very precarious in that position there. Oh, he might be going for a little trip. To the table, let's have a look. Maybe Liam can block it. He's got Marcel Barbwire! Oh! Liam Slater brought crashing down onto the concrete at Anarchy Brewery. Holy shit! Holy shit! Yeah, that! Jeez! And an elevated barbed wire version of a Russian leg sweep. Taking both men an ugly trip to the floor, leave it only. Lou Nixon and a wounded Shreddy break in the ring. And Shreddy needs to look up. It's only right that it's festive. It's that festive time of the year because he's looking at a ghost from Christmas past in Lou Nixon. And he's about to meet the ghost of Christmas future who also happens to be big Lou Nixon. Speaking of Rory's horror films, this is I Know What You Did Last December. Nah, 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 nah. And look at this! Oh! When I rear naked choke, and he taps instantly! 